Writing a good vocal melody is hard. In this video, I'm going to share a pretty sweet way to steal a melody without getting in trouble. Hi, I'm Tony from Songwriters Chop Shop. So let's look at how we can take melodies from existing songs and use them to get our own creative juices flowing. First thing to do is pick a song. I'm going to use Lucid Dreams by Juice World. I'm showing you this in Hook Theory's Hook Pad. Now you don't have to use this, you can just work it out on your instrument, but Hookpad makes this super easy and quick to do, and you can get access to it for $5.99 a month. It's a steal. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, affiliate plug over. So after we've picked a song, we're going to invert the melody. Don't worry if you don't know any music theory, I'm going to give you a step-by-step, -step, easy to follow guide here. Here's what the original melody sounds like. This song is in F sharp minor, but I've put it into A minor. Now you can do this with the click of a button in hook pad. I've put it into A minor because it's the relative minor in the key of C. Now this isn't essential, but C is a more beginner friendly key to start in. All the notes in A minor are the same notes that are in C major. So how do we invert this melody? Well here's a cheat sheet. So any note that's C will go to G, any that's D will go to F, E will go to E flat and so on. So all the E notes change to E flat. All these C notes change to G. And all these G notes go down to C and so on. I'm not going to make you watch me do every single note, so let's cut to. And here's the new inverted version of the melody. Our new melody has now gone from the key of C major to C minor, and C minor is the relative minor of E flat. So we can now suppose this melody is in E flat. Again, you don't need to know the theory behind this. I'm also going to flip this melody. You don't have to do this, but this melody has such a distinct rhythm, I want to change it up a bit more. So I'm going to put this end section at the beginning. The next step is to give our new melody some new chords. Just go to the key cheat sheets resource in hook theory and click on E flat. This is going to give us a bunch of chord progressions we can try with our new melody. If you've got possible chord progressions, it tells you what songs use those chords. And it shows you all the chord progressions in the relative modes. And as I said, you don't need to know the theory behind any of this. You'll just be using your ears to pick out something that sounds good to you. And with these cheat sheets, you can hear what all those chord progressions sound like. And when you hear something you like, you can put it with the melody. Here's a progression from the set of Doreen chords. Hook Theory will tell you what key the song is in. If you pick a song that's in, say, F Doreen, then just change it to the appropriate mode based on the C major scale. You can use this as a reference. So if you had something like F Doreen, you just change it here to D Doreen. Now try out some chord progressions until you find something you like the sound of. And if you've any questions about this, just hit me up in the comments. Then the next step is to just hit that like button and tweak the taste. Play around and change stuff up. 
get creative and see what happens. Here's what I settled on with a verse idea and a chorus idea. And you can even export this as a MIDI file and bring it into your DAW and start building a track. If you're looking for more ways to use existing melodies to get your creative juices flowing, check out this video next. Catch you next time.